Driving home from that beautiful place I call my sanctuary, the beach, the ocean. There's uh, five people there today, and um, it was lovely, very quiet, very beautiful. I could meditate, it was lovely. And um, yesterday was an ego-based day for me. I was in fear for the children, mostly, of what's happening in the world. In that world, I have two feet, one in one, one in the other. And um, today I feel beautifully aware that in every moment I stay connected to my source, everything works. And it's just so apparent to me. If I need something in the house and I, and I look for it now, I'm told where it is and there it is. And that has not always been the case for me because... When I really think that I have any control over anything in my perceptual reality other than deciding to go to truth or to the illusion, I'm lost in space. There's nothing here that isn't of my making and as soon as I get into the mindset of I need do this or think that or go there or have that, I'm distracting from the source. The source of all my information, all my guidance, all my sustenance. And I've been saying this for years. I remember in relationships past, you know, again, Ananda, you can't, come on. You have to get a real estate agent. Ananda, come on. You got to go to the doctor. Ananda, come on. You know you need to eat. And though I still do that, mostly. <laughs> That's my only yet illusion that I like to uh, embrace. But I'm realizing too, you know. In Course in Miracles, it talks about true compassion. And true compassion is to see the God in that person that's complaining or that person that's ill. As soon as you buy into their problem, you become one with it. And you make it grow in them. You make it seem real and it becomes a problem. And that's what's happening basically in the world. Everybody's talking about problems. I don't see solutions other than in my own head. <laughs> so hopefully that'll become a reality for my, me and my perceptual world. Anyway, why would I choose to listen to someone complaining about anything when I know that it's all it's all man-made. It's all something that that aspect of me chose to do to stay away from the source of all being, to stay away from what I call God or the Creator. When I have that connection, when I hold that hand, when I plug in that plug, everything works. When I take it out, It's a maze. Everything's a maze. I have to walk through all kinds of hurdles to get to the solution. You know. But Ananda, you're not listening to me. You don't understand what happened. I understand what happened. So did you have a solution? Yes, it worked out. But let me tell you how hard it was. Let me tell you that my mother is sick. Don't you get it? And you know what she went through? But is she feeling better now? Oh, yeah, but she went through hell. And that's basically what's happening. Oh, yeah, I had the V. I had it. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling bad, but, you know, I'm feeling better, but I'm, I still know that it could happen again. And I got to protect me. I got to protect my kids. I got to protect my environment. I got to protect my community. Like, what a friggin' insanity. And yesterday I felt so, so crazy because I couldn't understand how I've been teaching this to myself, allowing myself to be 
the student and hear the amazing effects of focusing on on God rather than on people, places, and things for my solutions. No matter what, when you go there first, it just makes things miraculous. As I say all the time, we're living in an infinite world with infinite solutions. Right now, I could choose to go straight, I could make a right, I can make a U-turn, I can make a left, and that's just a tiny spot of realities. You know, and so when you really think that and understand, I mean, so many times I pull up to a store and I decide not to go in. Why? It just doesn't feel right. I go in the refrigerator and I pull out something to eat and I don't eat it. Why? So it doesn't feel right. I wait for clear direction for most things. And now that I've got this open communication going, it's just so much easier. And today I came to that awareness. I daughter something I needed. I hear where it is. I open the drawer. There it is. That wasn't the way it was for many, many, many years. Anyway just me uh, ra ranting a little bit about what I've come to realize and um, trying to stay peaceful in this illusion that I've helped make manifest and the one leg is in heaven totally in peace and joy knowing that there are only solutions available and the other leg in the muck living in two worlds, which is almost impossible to do in peace. Anyway, have a beautiful day, rest of the day, rest of the night. I love you. Bye.